This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. The World Health Organization has added to the debate over the risk of brain cancer from mobile phone use. The WHO's International Agency for Research on Cancer recently listed the signals from wireless devices as possibly carcinogenic. This finding puts cell phones in the same risk group as the pesticide DDT, but also in the same group as coffee. A group of 31 scientists from 14 countries made the finding. The announcement came at the end of a meeting at the agency's headquarters in Lyon, France. The concern is that extended contact with radio frequency electromagnetic fields may increase a user's risk for glioma. Glioma is the most common form of brain cancer. The scientists spent a week examining existing research. Dr. Jonathan Samay from the University of Southern California led the group. He says the finding that there could be some risk means scientists need to keep a close watch for a link between cell phones and cancer. The statement noted that the number of mobile phone users is large and growing, especially among young adults and children. Mobile phone subscriptions are estimated at five billion worldwide. The scientists called for more research into long-term heavy use of mobile phones. They also suggested taking measures to reduce exposure to the signals, like hands-free devices or texting. Camilla Reese from an American group called Electromagnetic Health praised the report, but says wider research is needed. She says, we've only had this technology around for about 15 years, and most carcinogens will take 30 to 40 years to develop a cancer. She says some scientists believe there could be a tsunami of brain cancer unless we do something to educate people to lower their exposure to this kind of risk. CTIA, the International Association for the Wireless Telecommunications Industry, dismissed the report. The group pointed out that no new research had been done, and it noted that the Cancer Research Agency has given the same finding to things like coffee and pickled vegetables. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.